Morning, morning, morning. Oh, it, doesn't it make a difference when it rains? Oh, all the hay fever's <laughs> gone. I can breathe. Let's see how long this lasts. So, China bans Bitcoin. Why, why is this a thing? Why is this a good thing in general? Okay, so the way Bitcoin works is it's a distributed network. And as you transact on the network, it is a proof of work platform in which the miners grind away solving equations and every time they solve an equation every 30 odd minutes then the transactions go through that's how the ledger is updated that's how we know who's got how much crypto uh, crypto coin bitcoin blockchain blah and where it happens to be right so with china moving to a point where they're anti-miners where they're actively turning off electricity to Bitcoin miners. This lowers the hash rate. So in theory, right, lowers how quickly people are solving the equations and therefore slowing down Bitcoin and causing a problem there. N no. The way Bitcoin works is that based on how many miners are mining, the equation will get harder or softer, right? Basically, it knows that it needs to transact every 30 minutes. So if the miners can't solve an equation within 30 minutes because there hasn't been enough hashing computer rate, then the equation rebalances. So if a load of miners leave, then it will rebalance to make it easier, but still solve it within that 30 minutes. Now... <laughs> What this also means is there's less people to challenge for the reward of six and a half Bitcoin per 30 minutes where every time an equation happens to be solved, he says, looking through a jungle. Ah! I really wish my council would look after the, the footpaths because now I've got schmear on my glasses. Um, so why is this a good thing? Well, one, there's now tempts other miners to come into the market and the price of bitcoin tends to weirdly follow mining hash rates over time it's one of those weird magic logistical things i said that hay fever is gone but it's not now yeah so if there's less miners then it's going to attract more miners in the long run which will push it back up which is a positive thing it also removes how much dominance china has within hash rate which means that it's safe or safer because it's even more decentralized even more nodes in more random places because in theory if china has more than 51 percent of the hash rate they can flip it and do whatever they want with the network now not so much and in general a moving of miners out of China into, say, Kazakhstan, or being invited to El Salvador and things like that, broadens and spreads out the network and makes it more resilient. So, why does China banning Bitcoin mean a good thing? Well, overall, Bitcoin's only ever gonna go up. Bitcoin may have its ups and downs, but you've gotta think that it's still up from its all-time high of 19, 20,000 in the last bull run. As long as you're willing to hold in and keep going, then it does okay. Every now and then we hear that China's banned Bitcoin again and unbanned it and it's going to mine and isn't going to mine. And over time, we're going to learn that it doesn't matter. And if the miners leave China, the miners will just appear elsewhere. What do you think about this? What do you know about Bitcoin mining? Has you, have you ever tried mining in general? Please hit that subscribe button so you're notified every time I upload a video and we can continue to have these random chats. Go check out this video because YouTube wants you to and I'll see you soon.